Don't be fooled by the bread that I've got. I'm still Barry from the block. Hello everybody. I would like to start with some bad, sad news. <sighs> Look, <laughs> Homer, you've lost your head, mate. As you guys know, I use these cardboard cutouts and we've gone through a few in our time to help me focus my camera, focus my mind and actually sometimes give me someone to interact with. The natural thing would have been to replace Homer. In fact, I have done that. Another Homer is on the way. And maybe I can use this as like the Home Alone thing, put it on a train, you know? I had so many suggestions on Twitter for a replacement and I can now reveal for video if you haven't followed me on Twitter. It's only Mr. Bean, right? I put a picture up and it was going bonkers because I, we had a bit of a fun. We said that Mrs. Barry was the actual cutout and this was legit. Look how real he looks. So he's gonna stare like that. <laughs> he's gonna be with us part of this journey. We've got a new Homer on the way and there's another bonus one. I think I might rotate them, okay? Just think of the bean puns, huh? huh? Homer's a has-been now, that's the bean. Oh, we better start the video. So the, the other night I was out with some friends and yes, I do actually have some friends. I am not just some crazy person that's in your screen on the internet or people that go to Norwich. Uh, I, I do actually have some real friends. We were playing Jenga uh, in a bar and um, one of my friends came up with the idea and said, hey, wouldn't it be cool if Jenga and fish fingers like combined, you had like uh, edible Jenga. Now I'm not the first person to do this. There was a person on Twitter that sent me a video of them doing it with chips, but I want to put my own Barry twist on it. These lights are like on fire today. Look at that. I feel like I'm in some sort of church. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Bean lingering in the background, love it. Uh, but like my idea was we're gonna do it sweet. We are gonna do French toast because there were so many ideas suggested like the fish fingers, uh, chips. There was uh, someone suggested Battenberg cake and all so many different things that might work better than what I've gone for. But my feeling was friction, okay? When we make something and it has too much friction on it. <laughs> not, yeah, is that friction? Yeah ain't gonna work, it's not gonna push out. So we're gonna make French toast sticks that we're then gonna caramelize with an outer sugary layer, kind of like we did on the Heston Blumenthal uh, Barry Tries video. And I think it might work. Either way, it's gonna be fun. So my plan is to get a Jenga set. We've actually got a poor man's version. Oh, this one, uh, that's called Timber, and it was for sale at the Big Sheep, which is actually a family entertainment place uh, in Devon, where they actually have sheep that they knitted jockeys on the back and they ride them, you race them. And I won a badge when I was 12, but we bought this, we took the kids uh, a few years ago. This is a, a rip-off version of Jenga. I didn't think they could do that, but they can. They've just called it Timber with two R's, three R's. A game of balance. A game of cloning Jenga and selling it for half the price, probably. So I'm gonna use this as a template to try and make our bread into edible sticks. Sorry, I just really, <laughs> really wanna play Jenga now, or sorry, Timber. Uh, yeah, so we are gonna effectively try and do this. The bread that I've got, I went to the supermarket so early this morning, I could only get thick sliced, pre-sliced uh, bread. So hopefully it will be roughly the right thickness of that. It's all about getting the dimensions the same every time. All right, so here we are, Mr. Bean. <laughs> You're just gonna like lingering like that, uh, right there. So we'll take the crusts off. All right, and that is it. We've got a nice little raft of bread. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, 30. Well, we're going for 42 of these. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, okay. The great thing is I can use this as a really good template at first. I don't want to squish the bread because bread can get really flattened easily, can't it? All right. God, it feels like I'm doing some sort of maths puzzle at school. Moment of truth. <laughs> yes, they will puff up anyway as we make them. That is one of my blocks. I've done it. Don't be fooled by the bread that I've got. I'm still Barry from the block. Ah. Uh? Huh? Mike? My friend Mike who suggested fish fingers? We're doing this, mate. It's gonna be good. Really good plumber, actually, if you need a plumber in the western area. Beautiful. So, that is four blocks evenly done, like so. I'm not gonna 
play around with them too much. I don't want to flatten them or anything. These blocks are my friends. Uh, so I'm just going to do that 42 more times. Or whatever the math is. 42 minus 4. 30, um, 38. There it is, there are all my Jenga bricks. I didn't really want to start piling them on top of each other because I didn't want to squish them too much, but they should expand as we cook them. Uh, 42 was it there? And 42 here. I'm so proud of these. They look all super and symmetrical. I could work for Lego. I know they don't cut them by hand, but if they did, wow. Batter up, French toast. Now, of course, to make French toast, you normally uh, do the naughty way you fry it. Uh, I am trying a baking way today because I want to make lots in one go rather than the frying. We'll do that later. It might take 0.5% of it, uh, unhealthiness off of it, you know? So this is a lined baking tray. This is not aftershave. This is some uh, cooking spray. So I'm just spraying my baking sheet. So all the bread will go on here, but let's batter up. This is the biggest mixing bowl that I own. Random fact, but I know you wanted to know that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I just spilt that on me. Three cups of milk, about 650 ml. One, two, three good spoonfuls of sugar. Vanilla extract, one, two good old pours of that. Nice. All right, so this is some cinnamon, two good shakes of that. And now we need, if you excuse the pun, an oof for a lot of eggs. We need six. Wow, some of you guys were always telling me just smash the um, eggs flat on the surface down there and that's worked out excellent. Wow, normally I use other like things and it, it just bodges up. Hashtag user error. Right, whiskey whisk. Make sure you've carried out a whisk assessment. Hey. But what we've got here is basically a nice egg yolky, frog spawny, speckly little mixture that our bread bricks are gonna be dunked in. All right, folks, I am just getting my oven preheated to 160C fan, which is 180C gas mark 5P50F, all right? Now you know about oven temperatures. This is your job, all right? He gets in every shot. I know Homer used to, but he's a teeny bit taller. Anyhow, uh, whilst the oven is warming up, we're going to grab each one of our bready fingers. We're going to dunk it in. Mm. And that is actually going to fill out. Uh, it's going to absorb, but we want to shakey shake, okay? Shake it up. I have two daughters. That's the only excuse I've got. And I grew up with two sisters. Right, so onto our sprayed baking tray. It's going to sit there. Look. Sit there. Please sit down. Take a seat. Uh, we need to do that to all the others, but make sure they ain't touching. All right? No skin on skin. All right, folks. We've got a real mix there. The first two, the cinnamon clung, and then it came back, and it went, but it... it Miraculously, it's like it's purpose made. It just fits on the tray. The oven is preheated. These are going in, and obviously, because we're not frying them, we are gonna basically bake them and then turn them over. So we'll see them in about 10 minutes. Now you do your thing. All right, so that's the first side of the baking done. Now, some of them were starting to catch because we're effectively making toast in an oven. Uh, you can see this one in particular. It's quite well browned, it's nice. Uh, but we're gonna turn them over. There's a couple that are just stuck and I don't want to break them. Ah, oh, hot. All right, there we go. It smells awesome. So I'm just spraying some extra oil on top. Burr, 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 burr. All right, back in the oven for 10 minutes to brown that again. And we're done before making our caramelized layer. Right, these are done, but I'm not happy. All right, let, let me, I don't know, I might be all right. Now, I didn't used to be like this. I think it's partially looking at YouTube comments that's kind of made me like that. Um, I, I, I think they've just kind of, they've gone a bit flat. I mean, it's, it's, it's edible Jenga, so it doesn't, look, that's half the width now. And the bakery was shut earlier. Um, so we can try, and I'm not done, but I'll try and make a tower now. Right, <laughs> actually, now I look at it, 
That actually doesn't look too bad now. I want to use fatter bread. I carried a watermelon. <laughs> I just popped to the shops and then now got the fresh bread. Oh my gosh, do I want to eat you? Do I want to eat you? Yes. We've got this ready. And I was thinking. Whoa, 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 whoa. We've got a Jenga tower already. Oh, God. You are so smelly, but in a good way. Really sharp bread knife that I've got. That's what we want to see. We want to see that. Oh, crumbs, it's going to get, <laughs> open the book. So we just rip that off. Oh, that would make an amazing pizza, wouldn't it? <sighs> Our bread tower. Oh, look, there you go, guys. You want to see a giant French toast stick? Done. Well, I'm going fat on these. It might not go 40 too high. All right, I ain't going to tease that. But this will be good. This, I think this is going to be better. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one. Now, kids, I ain't stacking that, but if you want to learn maths with Barry in my kitchen, that's how we do the three times table. Even though it's not halved in threes yet, but... I feel like I want a few more, though. Hey? And that is gonna, that's gonna be better. It's gonna give us a much better chance. So uh, let's uh, jump. Cut. Well, I've made a bit of a mess now, but I think it'll work. I'm gonna dunk these. Sorry, mate, it's not normally like this, all right? He's having a bit of a tough first day, isn't he, Mr. Bean? It's not his fault. Dunk. Luckily that mix uh, does hold a lot, uh, what we made up. So shaky, shaky, shaky again, down on the tray. Rinse and repeat. All right, I've crammed that as full as I can. They're gonna need a little bit longer in the oven, I'd imagine. Uh, they'll probably stick together a little bit. But right now, I just want you to cook. The sun is coming out, guys. Don't look so excited. I think it's a sign the sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that making edible Jenga timber is really annoying and hard. Pitch perfect. Here's a little update. Woo! I've turned them over. They're holding their shape. They are some fat old planks of bread. In other news, I've just got to show you this because it's happened like two or three times now. I've opened the fridge to get something and then look, I shut it. <laughs> it's really weird. Oh. I don't know if you're a keeper, mate. I gotta be honest. You might have to stick with Homer. Here we go, these. Whoa. They're a teeny bit different in shape. That's fine, I can trim them. I'm happy. Uh, it's actually a lot brighter in the kitchen so they don't look very cooked. Honestly, they are lightly browned, but that's fine. So we're gonna do something awesome. Uh, there was a video I did, uh, Heston Blumenthal bacon egg ice cream. Very, very cool. In my old house, actually. Oh. So what we do is we get some sugar. Now in that Heston recipe, he did a crispy caramelized sugar outer shell. And this is my theory that once it cools down, it'll give it a smoother edge rather than the slightly friction, sort of charred toasted uh, fingers that we've got right now. So this is bumpy. We wanna try and make it smooth. The sugar it might make it sticky. I don't care. I know it's gonna make it taste nice. Now Heston didn't go for normal caster sugar. Oh no, 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 no. He went for this, uh, golden caster sugar. You hear it a lot in recipes, golden caster sugar. I never ever buy that. Uh, I've never used it, so if anyone knows, I mean, I could Google it, but it's interacting, isn't it? It's getting you guys involved. What is the difference between golden caster sugar and normal caster sugar? Educate us in the box below in the style of a T-Rex. Type like that, even if you're using your phone. Okay, so they do get a lot of expansion and change their size as it cooks. So what I've done, lined them up a minute ago and just sliced one end off some of them just to make sure that they're, you know, relatively the same size again. I didn't go as accurate as I did first of all, just because I just want them fatter, you know? Golden caster sugar then. Shake it round so it's nice and even. I'm not gonna stir it, I'm gonna let the heat do its thing and it's gonna melt and caramelize. And then we wanna keep it at a steady heat. I might need to replace the sugar, we'll see how we go. It's gonna be very, very hot, please be careful. All right, so you can see how hot that is. This is gonna take me a long time. Stick that in. Just using two forks to coat it, you see that? Oh my gosh. Just a nice little layer. Do the uh, Cut end as well. This is on a very low heat, but it is super hot. But this will give us a nice firm edge. 
I just wish I didn't make so many now. <laughs> Conclusion to golden caster sugar. I don't like golden caster sugar. It's ruining my pans. It ain't doesn't feel right. Every time I've done this before with normal sugar, it works a charm. I'm getting like, oh, the good news is it's working. Ooh, it is working. But it, it's rough, and then I'm getting different colours and and things. But I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna be okay. In other words, I'm gonna do another normal sugar. You see, what's happening is. When I'm caramelising these, I've just checked with a block. You know, that one wasn't ideal anyway, but what's happening is adding so much layer onto it. If I try and stack them like that, right, it's increased the width, which makes it, you know, these are just scraps, it makes it hard to get on. But I'm thinking I've got my other pile still over there, one of these. This sugar's working much better as well, by the way. So I'm turning the heat down. I'm just going to grab one of the small ones. Just want to see you know, what this does. Here we go. Ooh, that looks better. And this is burning really quickly. Wow, this is possibly the hardest thing I've ever done. Look. Wishy-washy. Huh? That is the exact same uh, steps I'm doing now when I'm making a right hash of this. Ugh. Oh, they're sticking together now. Oh, brilliant. No. No, 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 no. This may look like a mess, but I think I've cracked it. Right, you can see I've got a collection here. This is the original ones I did. I've got some sugar. I'm adding it to the pan. It's on a high heat for the moment just to blast it down. But then I have to really turn it off and control it. It's, it's really tricky because if it's too cold, it hardens up straight away. Just like this stuff. I was kind of scared then. <laughs> uh, but then also, once it's hot, it will burn quickly. So I kind of get the right balance. And I'm not stirring it with a spoon. I'm just moving it like that and letting the granules dissolve in and once it gets just sort of semi-dissolved like this what i start to do is sit them in already i know i probably shouldn't do this but it's worked for me so far so if i go like that see nice and golden so i'll know i can lift that out straight away it's going to set smooth it will set quick down on there just want to show you guys this would have been my preferred ones because these are Oh, so good. Mm. <laughs> but I didn't measure the second batch I did with the chunky bread. Uh, and as it goes, <laughs> you can't do two and three Jenga. So these ones are much better. These are tasty though, right? Mm. Are you gonna go for it? Fine, shall I go for it? Right. Oh my gosh. You let me. <laughs> 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 you see? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, it's just getting serious now. <laughs> it ain't gonna last long. Put that in the middle, that's it. Oh, oh. I'm keeping it this side. Can you do that? Is that even in the rules? Yeah, it's gotta come back more this way, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. This is like teamwork now. We're like we're playing on Mario Party or something. Whoops. Ah. Oh. Oh. What an amazing game of Jenga! And then you can just eat it. Ah! Oh. So whilst I leave Mrs. Barry and Mr. Bean to uh, mange on the, the Jenga, I can't believe we made it. We didn't even just use one of this to straighten up. We just smashed it out of the park. So if you think this is an interesting playlist, you'd like to see more of it, leave suggestions down below. Ideas, oh. flavour combo. What? What now? What now? Come on. Edible twister. Edible uh, twister? How would that work? You're going to find out. <laughs> See you guys. Bye. Check your level player. No matter what your style, the kitchen's for me. Simon's mustache, goatee, maybe all three. 